Damon. Matt McElwain. Kevin Johnson. Kevin Chambers. But um, uh, to get started, uh, throughout our presentation, um, Matt will give you the SWOT analysis, Clayton will give you the Bureau analysis, Kevin will give you the STEEP, and I will explain the strategies and implementations. So to get started, we're going to have Matt. All right, we conducted a SWOT analysis, which uh, goes over the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of each, each company in this relationship. Uh, first off, we did a SWOT analysis over UCM. The strengths is that they can produce more competent students. Uh, okay, that was kind of cut off there, but uh, faster ability, or, okay. <laughs> Provide knowledgeable employees for fast models of business. That's a strength that we have. We can uh, UCM can provide students that Fastenal is looking for that have a strong work work ethic that they're seeking. Uh, weaknesses communication. Uh, fast, uh, we have no really good way of of kind of telling everybody about Fastenal because this is kind of a, a recent relationship they you guys just re recently did. So the word hasn't been spread out yet. Uh, students aren't aware of FASML just yet because the relationship is is kind of minor at the moment, um, and it's only and it's only exposed to the Harmon College of Business, which there's a lot of colleges out um, using campus. Uh, opportunity is job placement is that uh, the students are guaranteed a job opportunity if they go for FASML right off the bat out of college. Uh, Success equals more donations and more recognition for the college. If if this relationship works out just fine, then UCM's name will get out there a lot more. As a college that provides work, uh, workers that provide work ethic, that's really, really good. Uh, it can also lead to more corporate relationships. UCM might want to uh, partner with other companies too. Threats are that other uni other universities are involved in a fascinating relationship just similar to this. There's five other schools besides us that are currently in a relationship sort of type of scenario. So that might, uh, <coughs> if one, one school shines over the others, that might not be very good for UCM trying to produce more students to work for Fastenal. Uh, Fastenal may terminate the relationship at any time for any reason, and we can decrease the enrollment in other majors. In the Harmon College of Student or Harmon College of Business, there might be a lot of management, sales rep representatives, uh, majors, and then we did a SWOT analysis of Fastenal. Uh, the strength of, for Fastenal is that they have job security. Uh, right out of college, it's nice to know that you have a job going coming out right out of college. Uh, their funding is really, really well. Uh, they also have learning sales and. Com com uh, their, fun, uh, their learning sales is very good because they teach you how to promote this or how to sell or do sales administration for people. And it also they have the promote within policy, which is very appeasing to students coming out of college. And their customer service is phenomenal. It, this is a great opportunity for students to learn customer service base. Weakness is that students don't know Fastenal very well. So it's hard for them to kind of know what their brand is if they don't know what they are very well. Uh, Fastenal ensures how to get, get what they want from UCM, and they're also aware of the opportunity, awareness of the opportunities UCM has to offer that some, some students might not be aware of, or, or like want that job in particular coming out of college. Uh, opportunity is they or promote company they they promote from within. This is a good good chance for students to start at an entry level job and work their way up the corporate ladder. Uh, they can they hire college graduates that know 
that know what they're looking for and what they need to do. And it's an advanced symbiotic relationship with UCM. If FastML and UCM's relationship grows, they can do a lot more stuff with it. Uh, threats is other companies partnering with UCM. UC, uh, this isn't the only company that FastML is partnered with. Other companies include Rent-A-Car, uh, State Farm. So students might be attracted to those jobs instead of FastML. Uh, and also, the possibility of wasting funds. There could be a possibility that FastML is indeed wasting their time and money and trying to involve into this relationship. And I'll go over, I'll switch it over to Clayton here. He'll go over the Bureau analysis, which kind of identifies the competitive advantage each company has. For, first off, we start off with the Bureau analysis of UCM. Uh, we thought what was valuable was the relationship with Fastenal, obviously, because it not only gets UCM's name out there, but it gets Fastenal's name out there as well. And the educational support that Fastenal gives UCM. Not only money, but in coming to classes and helping shape the curriculum. Uh, what we thought was rare was quality of students from UCM, the hardworking technical students. And like I said, it's lower in there. The, they're likely to be more successful because they already have a knowledge of the career field they're going into, which makes them more, I guess, less or more disillusioned to where they know what they're getting into when they start the job. Uh, and the degrees, that type of degree sets them apart from other students. What's imitable is students rece receiving other business degrees. Other schools have co business colleges, can't, can't stop it. Uh, Fastenal could be helping the other schools, that, can't stop that either. And then the partnering helps get Fastenal's brand out also with the other students. Uh, UCM's organization, UCM develops students for the future and molds well-rounded students, uh, and then they graduate students that are hardworking and driven to succeed. That's also where the technical, better career field knowledge comes from. Uh, for Fastenal, they're valuable in the fact that they're career opportunities, the jobs, the experience that they can not only give to UCM through coming to class, that they can help shape the curriculum by doing the same, and then the brand recognition. When people know Fastenal, it's quality. They know that, it's customer service. It's just right now, the brand, the value of it isn't as high, but it's still valuable in the process, in the thought of it being there. And when people know it, it's there. Uh, what's rare, it, prefer, it, it provides long-term employment for potential employees. <coughs> like Matt said, you all promote within. I know currently from my job, I would beg for my manager to have done that. They don't have a clue what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, it's, no, it's, it's pretty bad. They're running, they're running in the ground. Uh, what's imitable is other schools involved with the same program. You all go into Fort Hayes State. I know you all mentioned the Colorado State one that you're doing next year. That's imitable. Uh, the organization is recruiting students from other career fairs like I just said, and your quality of customer service. I mean, that's your all's big thing, is customer service and having quick, or having your products there quickly. Next, we're gonna do the steep analysis, and that's on Kevin. Uh, what the steep analysis is, is it just goes over the industry overall, the awareness of the industry of the company. We also decided with Fastenal and UCM to leave out the ecological aspect we did because we didn't feel that it had any pertaining knowledge involved with it. I hand it off to Kevin. All right, well, with the Steve analysis, UCM is helping Fastenal promote themselves to the students as a viable <coughs> employer. Fastenal offers what every graduating student is looking for, and that is employment. <coughs> with helping the academic enrichment of the university, UCM students will be fast tracked to. Excelling within the professional ranks. Developing skills puts graduating students at an advantage for the professional company uh, where, where we can retain employment and potential for success is 
I would like to say is, will be above the rest of the schools you work with. And for the economics, FASNO helps fund education. Receiving funds from FASNO allows UCM to develop awareness. The resources will enhance the learning environment in the in the university you all has the FASNO college program that you all want to look into. FASNO School of Business, is that the correct name for it? Correct. Okay. And for political, the developing the potential employees allows UCM to strengthen the relationship with the FASNO company, knowing that you are getting some quality employees will allow you all to keep wanting to build this relationship with UCM. UCM has a structured approach uh, looking to take students' capabilities to the workforce. Uh, you will you will be learning outside of the classrooms and UCM provides technical students, the age of workers for the UCM, education doesn't end after college. UCM develops some hardworking students and providing internships for UCM is where you can also reach us at an earlier stage. Using the current technology for UCM students being used to the new technology such as these iPads. I know you all are out there in the workforce and I've seen it for myself. The guys out there writing things down, got those iPads, you can possibly link them to your system and get that information right there instantly so you don't have to potentially lose something when you get back to the store and everything will be automatically into the database. <coughs> the payroll for uh, FASNO looks good for the incoming employees, for the students. You are providing your own trucks for us, for, for, for the employees, so you don't have to worry, have to worry about driving their own cars around, putting mileage on their own vehicles, and carrying heavy loads in the cars. And uh, FASNO invests a lot of capital in the UCM for the student's employment, so you all want a quality product out of that. <clears throat> You're donating to get your brand out, so you want to see how UCM students are going to see you all when they come into the Harmon College business. Uh, the Harmon College provides uh, work requirements they're looking for, uh, internships provide awareness, as I said before, to get the, get the awareness out earlier and let, let the students, whether it be a paid internship or for credits, is way something that they can get something from it as well. And uh, providing high ranking job opportunities when students have low entitlement, that will just allow the students to see that there's something that they can reach up to, whether it be the district manager position, general manager. Now I'm going to pass it over to Kevin. He's going to tell you about the implementation of the strategies and some of the new strategies. Okay. First of all, I want to start with uh, what, you, what the University of Central Missouri wants out of the relationship. And first and foremost is employment opportunities. That's the main reason why we're, we're in school to get our degree and eventually apply it in some field. And next is a partnership that enhances education for students. And by that we mean the FASNOL aspect and the University of Central Missouri aspect. We can, the FASNOL provides University of Central Missouri with uh, the implementation of the skills that we've learned while we've been in school. And we can apply what the information that we have learned. And the partnership that provides industry-based knowledge to students for, for job opportunities. And again, that goes along with us implementing all the education and information and knowledge that we've learned and putting it to use in a career. And the ability to enhance the learning environment. And by FASMA um, partnering with UCM, it will allow awareness of more career opportunities for students, as well as the implementation of technical skills. Now, to implement these strategies, we want to uh, help promote FASMA better by posters around Ward Edwards and a sign with FASNOL's name on it. The reason for this being 
by having posters in the Ward Edwards building, that is obviously where all the business majors will be at some point in time. So they will have access to see, at least have visually see what Fastenal is. And if one out of every five students that walks past the Fastenal sign and say, hey, what, what is that? I feel like that's a success in getting your awareness out there. Next is uh, we want to help Fastenal promote to the internship office during the beginning of the semester. And reasons for this being during the, um, during orientation, that would be an excellent time for you guys to just uh, provide information about Fastenal for incoming freshmen because having the knowledge of Fastenal from freshman year moving forward, I feel like gaining that information by the time you're a senior, you already know what Fastenal is about. You will have knowledge of the company and you can make that decision whether you want to go and work for them or not. And uh, we want to allow Fastenal to have more impact on certain classes and reason for this being you guys talking to classes that directly relate with your business will be more beneficial and more effective such as classes like productions, operations management, supply chain management. Those are two things that Fastenal is heavily involved with so speaking to those specific classes would have a great benefit for the students. And next we want to have UCM alumni talk to incoming freshmen during the orientation week. This simply would just have, help us have someone to identify with and say, hey, I went to Central and this is how I applied what I learned to Central with Fastenal. Now, what Fastenal wants from, from Central, you want highly technical students that are capable of functioning in the front office as well as functioning on the working floor. And UCM, we can provide that because we have students, like Kevin previously mentioned, we have students that are willing to work hard and come into the workforce with a, with no sense of entitlement, meaning we're, we're ready to work for, for everything we get. We don't feel like that something should be handed to us. And uh, about 30 graduating students a year coming to work for Fast and All. I feel like that was, uh, that's a solid number. And uh, students that maintain the ethics UCM students are known for, which goes back again to low sense of entitlement and hard working from the start. And to improve content and diversity in classroom presentations. And this could, um, this could be highly beneficial for both sides. And the next slide, I want to uh, explain how we can implement that. And uh, the new strategy could be um, mention your salaries and rewards to students. This is something that definitely graduating students will be interested in. We want to see how we could, you know, reap the benefits of our education and how we could work and what we are working for. So knowledge of the salary, because I know personally, I didn't know that you could uh, potentially make that much working professional. That's something that sparked my interest. Not saying that you should be solely focused on money, but that is an important aspect. And describe the importance of a degree to students for the job opportunity. Um, we recently saw that on your website, it was an, an update to show what degrees were required for each job, which we previously didn't see on our research for professional. So that's something that's very helpful to students because like, again, we want to see what our degree is um, rewarding us and how we can apply that and update website to make it more informative regarding career opportunities. We noticed that on your website, um, it's a lot of information regarding the services of Fastenal and like the different um, items that you provide for customers and different services. But as far as the career portion, it was kind of um, lacking for someone who's graduated from school. So making us more knowledgeable of career opportunities and ways to approach that would be uh, highly beneficial. And uh, extending the uh, recruitment process, talking to um, students from the freshman year on, that will allow the knowledge of uh, fast and auto to increase uh, in, a, in a huge way. I feel like if I had, would have known about fast and auto from my freshman year and you know each year learning little by little more and more and more, that would um, spark my interest because I've only learned about it for a year and they already caught my attention. So, and we're going to use the tools other than PowerPoint to get students' attention. I know when you guys visited my uh, production operation management classes, a lot of information was given throughout the PowerPoint, but the, the way that it was delivered, I feel like it was kind of one of those things that kind of went in one ear and out the other. And that's no disrespect to you guys, but I feel like a more interactive way to present the presentation would be more beneficial for the students, such as workshops that show like how we can um, apply things that we're learning to Fastenal, how they relate to uh, Fastenal's company, as well as different activities to um, introduce Fastenal to the students.
And um, basically, we think that by implementing the strategies that I, that I listed before, this will um, help further the relationship from UCM and FATS and all. And like I said, well, there's, there's reasonings behind what we want to do. Like, for example, the, the posters, you know, that seems like something small, but visually seeing that, you know, that would, that would make you question what, what that is or improving the uh, presentations. If, you, if I have a fun experience with a, with a job that's coming to visit my school, then I'm going to look further into that company. But if I, you know, sit there and feel like they're just reading straight from a PowerPoint, not like we're doing, then I feel like it'll be highly beneficial. So thank you, and uh, we're going to open it up for questions now. Excellent job.